Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. Uh, hope you are well. This is Saifur Alam, assistant teacher of English, Master Secondary School. Today I am going to take a class of class 8. Uh, let's move to the slide. Welcome to English class. Welcome to English class. And this is my introduction. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to take a class of class 8 uh, English. Uh, today I will take the class. We'll discuss in English. The learning outcome today, uh, by the end of the class, we will learn uh, fill in the gaps, choose the best answer from the analytics, answer short questions. Okay? So, by the end of this class, uh, my dear students will acquire these, these things. Now, my dear students, look at the picture very carefully, uh, very carefully, and uh, there are three pictures. Okay, so uh, can you tell me what what are they? Uh, can you guess? Yes, thank you. Very good. Uh, this is this is Nokshikata. Very good. So today's topic is Nokshikata. Thank you. Let's move to the topic. Okay. Now there are four questions. Uh, uh, what do you see in the picture? Yes. There are some uh, designs uh, on a cloth. Okay. And what is it called? It is called Nokshi Kata. Thank you. Have you ever seen it before? And if you have seen it before, and where, where did you see it? Okay? And what do we do with it? Actually, yes, we use it uh, for family, we use it for family use, okay? Uh, next, so today's topic is Noshikata. You need one lesson two, okay? This is Noshikata. Okay, my dear student, look at the picture very carefully. Uh, this is the picture of a book. Can you tell me who wrote it? Yes, this is written by Joshi Okay. And what is uh, what is Joshi famous for? Uh, he is famous for Poems, yes. And Nokshi Kata Bar is a, is a collection of poems by him. Uh, it, is a, it is a collection of poems, uh, poems by Joshimuddin, uh, a famous poet of Bamali culture. Okay. So look at the picture of him. This uh, book is written in 1929. This is Joshimuddin. And uh, he uh, he was born in 1903 uh, and died in 1976. Okay. So important word meanings. Embroider. This is an adjective. Uh, you look at the picture very carefully. Uh, it, it, when we are saying something. Uh, Something is embroidered. It is uh, deco uh, it is it is decorated. Okay. Uh, and this type of decoration is called embroidered. Embroidered. Okay. So uh, look at the example. It is an embroidered quilt. Okay. Okay. Let's move to the second one. Meaning artistic. Artistic mean is an adjective. Is skillful and attractive. Attractively made. For example, this is a very artistic flower element. This is a very artistic flower 
arrangement. What meaning? Second word meaning traditional. This is adjective belonging to the customs. And my dear students, I hope that you will write the word meaning so that you can understand the copy, uh, understand the passage well. Next book to be another word indigenous. This is also an adjective naturally existing in a, uh, in a place or, or a country. Uh, who are the indigenous people of this land? You can write also the example. Commercially, this is an advert. Actually, uh, when you will get LY with any word, it is not only an adjective, but there are some other words without LY. Uh, adjective, uh, adverb without LY. Uh, for business purpose, the product will succeed commercially. So, for business purpose, it will succeed. Let's move. My dear students, what, what can you see? This is a this is a map of a of our country. Okay, so Nokshikata is famous of uh, what popular in six districts. Okay, so let us see what are the districts uh, it is famous for. These are the districts. These are the districts: Manasi, Jamalpur, Rashai, Koripur, Gogura, and Joshua. So these six districts uh, uh, has, uh, has become popular in those four, six districts so Mayamansi, Jamalpur, Rashtrahi, Kuripur, Gogura and Joshua ok my dear students this is the passage uh, from your text uh, read the passage uh, and uh, after that uh, we have to solve some problems. Uh, I'm, I'm giving you two minutes to read it. Okay. Okay, my dear students. Uh, this is the whole passage. Uh, you read it carefully of your own. And when you are reading, you must read it silently, ok? Uh, so, you will get confident. So, here is a uh, fill in the blanks uh, with clues. So, there are some uh, clues uh, in the box. So, you will fill in the blanks with, with the, the clues uh, in the box, ok? So, uh, let us see. Nokshikata uh, means artistic. Artistic one. Oh, okay. So, uh, I think uh, we give you the answer and we will try. Okay. So, here is the answer. So, artistic patterns. The name was taken from Bengali word Naksha. The third, uh, number three. The art has been practiced in rural Bengal for years. Uh, Nokshikata are now sold in fashion shops. Nokshikatas are in great demand because of their colorful designs and art. Nokshikatas are a kind of quilt. So these are the answer. Okay. Now uh, Let's move to the next one. There are some multiple choice. Uh, choose the best answer. There are five multiple choice questions and you have to answer. Uh, so, uh, each, each contains one mark. So, um, read the passage again and try to solve the multiple choice question. Okay. okay. Let's move. Let, me, let us uh, see what is the uh, first answer the name Nokshikata was derived from the word uh, dash word drive means come okay drive from take in or come so it has come from Bangla Bengali Bangla okay Bangla word 
next one the, the art has been uh, uh, has been continuing continuing for what yes yeah, very good centuries centuries means hundred and hundred years hundred of years the word indigenous means native okay nokshikata become popular for its beauty not high price advertisement low price no this is beauty because it is artistic uh, uh, design okay it is uh, it is it is made using old or new clothes okay thank you let's move to the next one these are the some uh, short questions okay uh, there are four questions uh, and you have to answer each uh, each question contains two marks so these are the uh, five questions you have to solve let's go these are the answers okay uh, i think uh, uh, now you know the answer let's go so uh, before closing the session uh, here is a uh, here is a homework for you uh, it is in the blanks uh, write it down on a copy and uh, you have to submit your homework uh, you, you, you have to write the whole passage okay not in the exam but as you are uh, as you are submitting the homework to the teacher so you have to uh, copy the whole text and then the answer okay okay my dear students thank you so much for paying attention bye for now have a good day